come to today. I want to call your attention to verse 26. And it shall come to pass, when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? Now, jump over to chapter 13. Chapter 13. And look, if you will, please, in verse number 11. Chapter 13. And we read, we preached through last week, verse 1 through 10 last week. We'll look at verse 11. We'll see this morning. And it shall be, when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that cometh of these, which thou hast. The males shall be the Lord's, and every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And thou wilt not redeem, if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck. And all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. Now look at verse 14. And it shall be when thy son asketh thee. Same thing he said over in chapter 12. In time to come, say, what is this that thou shalt say to him? By strength of hand, the Lord brought us out from Egypt from the house of bondage. And it shall come to pass when, and it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord slew all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both firstborn of man, firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all the open of the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of thy children, my children, I redeem. And it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontlets between thine eyes, for thy strength of hand, the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. Now, look, if you will, please, one other passage of Scripture. Deuteronomy, the last day of old as well. The text is Leviticus, Numbers, and the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter number 6. The Deuteronomy chapter number 6. Okay? Look over there, if you will. Deuteronomy chapter number 6. And look at verse number 20. Verse number 20. Deuteronomy 6, 20. And when thy son asketh thee, third time is Jesus, in time to come, say, what mean the testimonies, the statutes, the judgments, which the Lord your God hath commanded you? Then thou shalt say unto thy son, we were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and sore, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, upon all his household, before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he swore unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. All right, let's have a play this morning. As the Lord will be the Lord, home of Washington. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, in Jesus' name, this morning we, oh dear God in heaven, we come before your throne, Lord, once again to tell you how much we love you and appreciate you, God, and the help, Father, we've already had just walking in the doors of the house of God here this morning, Lord. What a blessing that it has been, God, as others have said, Lord, Father in heaven, we thank you so much, dear God, for being able, Lord, to still meet. Here in the house of God, Father, we thank you for that. And the Lord, we do ask this morning that you would please touch our pastor, God. Touch his lips, touch his mind, and help us, dear God, I pray, Lord, just to take in the word of God, Father, that it may help us. And God in heaven, that may, we may walk this week, dear Lord, and dwell upon it, God. And brother, as Brother Mike said, God, in the Sunday school meeting, Lord, that we may ponder upon these things that's in thy word, Father. Please help us today. Touch those that can't be here. Bless and be with those, dear Lord, that are sick. And we'll love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You can be seated. We've been trying to deal with this subject of victory now. And we began to look at Romans chapter number 6 and how that God told us that, and I know that we've looked at this verse three or four times, but it said that, uh, shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death, that like as God raised him up from the dead, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we've been playing together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, 
that our old man is crucified with Christ. We're trying to look at that. The very fact that now that we're saved, that we have the potential to live a victorious Christian life. And uh, we tried to use as an illustration of that truth how that God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt by the blood of the Lamb. He dealt with the penalty of their sin, but he brought them out and brings them across. We've not got there yet, but he brings them across the Red Sea and delivers them from the power of sin by his presence. I'm glad, thank God, for the indwelling presence of God. Amen. I'm glad God didn't save us and leave us alone. I'm glad he lives in us. He, he just as sure as that cloud followed them, we'll deal with that later, uh, through that wilderness, I'm glad we've got one that's living in us. Amen. He doesn't live over us. Right? He lives in us. Yeah, amen. He's more intimately involved in our life than he was in the life of the children of Israel. Yeah. Isn't that a blessing? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Somebody give me amen. Yes, amen. amen. Thank God for that. Well, we deal with those same several things about God bringing them out. We looked last Sunday that if we're going to experience victory, <laughs> In chapter 13, he said, you've got to remember this day in verse number 3. You've got to remember this day. In other words, we talked about last Sunday, that if you're going to ever have victory, you've got to get it settled that you're saved. You've got to get it settled that God has brought you out. Right. That you belong to God. That you have a part and a purpose in the things of God and that God lives in you. You've yeah. got to get that settled. Amen. That's got to be settled. You've got to remember the day. And then not only did he say in verse number three, you've got to remember the day, but if you look on down through here, you've got to revisit that day. We talked about last Sunday. You've got to revisit that day. He said, I have set aside a, a once a week thing for you to come together, and you revisit that every single once a week. Amen. Amen. And then he said, you revisit that once a year. And you have the Passover feast once a year. And then you have the Sabbath day once a week. That is that you remember and you revisit the day that God brought you out. Yeah. Thank God. Every once in a while it does us all good. Amen. Just go back to that day. Go back to that place. Go back to that hour. Go back to the circumstances that prevailed around you. Thank God being brought out. Amen. I think about it, I still get blessed. Uh, I heard Mays Jackson tell about it about every time he preached. Uh, amen. Dormitory B, North Carolina. Y'all heard it, uh, didn't you? And, uh, and many of you, I've heard you tell it time and time again. And I've told it time and time again. And God said, that's what you do. You're to remember it, uh, and, and then you're to revisit it once a week, and you're to revisit it once a year. Now, here's the thing I want to deal with today. Not only he said that you are <coughs> to remember that day, and you are to revisit that day, but according to verse number 11 uh, through verse number uh, 13, uh, uh, chapter 13, uh, you are to not only remember it and revisit it, uh, but you are to uh, uh, rehearse that day. In chapter number 12, notice what he said in verse 26. He said, your children are going to ask you, what mean you by this? In chapter 13 and verse 14, he said that your son's going to ask you in time to come, what mean you by this? What is this? And then he said in Deuteronomy chapter 6, in time to come, your children are going to ask you, what's all this about? And you're to tell him. Uh, uh, why we do what we do. Now, don't you listen to this just a minute. Uh, I would almost want to preach the last part of the message first, but let me just briefly mention the last part. And uh, and uh, let, let, let's just go over there and look at it just a second. Look at chapter number two of the book of Judges. Uh, chapter number two of the book of Judges. Look there just a second. Now, they failed uh, to do this. And I want you to notice the results, uh, and we'll come back to this. In, in chapter 2 of the book of Judges, uh, look at verse number 10. The Bible said, And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, uh, uh, and uh, they, there arose another generation after them, which knew not uh, the Lord, nor the works which he had done for Israel. 
Now, if you notice in the book of Judges uh, what's going on here, they're suffering the judgment of God in a little bit. And the reason for that is that they failed, uh, listen, they failed uh, to remember, to revisit, uh, and to rehearse uh, what God had done for them. Amen. And they got in trouble. Now go back just a minute to Exodus chapter 12, and let's see if we can work our way through this. Exodus chapter 12. Notice what he said one more time in uh, verse number 26. He said, when you get in the land that God promised you in verse 25, he said, uh, uh, and, and your children, they're going to ask you, what mean you by this service? Well, what service? Uh, the Passover sacrifice. Uh, why do we do this, Daddy? Why, why do we take a lamb? Why do we cut its throat? Uh, and uh, that was to be an ongoing thing, and it was still an ongoing thing up to the death of Jesus. Uh, amen. Uh, and uh, they take a lamb, and then cut its throat, uh, and then catch its blood. And, amen. And then eat that lamb. Uh, and uh, the children were going to say, Daddy, uh, Grandpa, Grandma, well, what, why do we do this? Uh, what's this all about? Uh, why, do we, why do we do this? Uh, and God said this. Uh, you tell your children. Why we do what we do. If you want to maintain victory, when you get in the promised land, he said to the, to, the, to the people of God, if you want to maintain victory, when you get in the promised land, you've got to bring the generation that's below you on up to understand why we do what we do. Right. You can't let the younger generation come up with that understanding why we do what we Amen. do. Now, that's where we that's, that's where we fail this country. We fail to teach our children. Amen. I'll say more about that in just a minute. But here's what he said. You're to tell them. Here's what you tell them. You're telling son, honey, little girl and daughter, uh, we were bombing down there in Egypt uh, and we couldn't get ourselves out uh, and we were depraved sinners uh, and we had departed from God uh, and we couldn't get ourselves out. But here's how God gets us out. Uh, he takes the blood of the Lamb uh, and substitutes uh, uh, our sacrifice. Uh, amen. He lets an innocent animal die for the guilty. Amen. He lets one that ain't done nothing die for those that yeah, have amen. And he takes that blood and he accepts that blood and the death of that lamb in your place, honey. Amen. And you tell your children that. And your children grow up saying, I'm a sinner. I must accept the blood of the lamb. Amen. And they grow up understanding that. But if they don't get told that, they grow up thinking, I'm okay. I'm not too bad. And I don't need nothing. I'll be all right. But he said, Hey, you mothers and you daddies, you're to tell your children that they're wolves and they're a sinner, and the only way they can get right with God yeah. is under the blood of a substitutionary sacrifice. Amen. Said, That's your responsibility. You don't tell them that. Amen. Now, if you don't tell them that, what happens when the time they did get over there in the Canaan land during those wilderness journeys, and the next generation failed to tell their children, and when they got in Canaan land, you know what they did? They forgot God. Yeah, amen. And let me just say this, lest I forget to say it, I've probably said that God brought to my mind. The wicked and all nations that forget God will be turned into hell. If I know anything, our generation's going to hell because it's forgot God. Well, why did it forget God? Yeah. Why did it forget God? Because mamas. Yeah. That's it. And daddies. Quit telling their children, you're lost, you're a sinner. We got Dr. Spock, and we got Dear Abby, and Dear Meg, and, and we got uh, Dr. Thiel, and we got all these uh, psych psychological dumbbells, uh, yeah, these amen. crazy psychiatrists. And they tell everybody now what you're supposed to tell your children is you're all right, and, and you'll be okay, and, and you you dally to it, and you give it what it wants, and, and uh, you give it everything. Are you listening? Yeah, right there. Amen. You give it everything it wants, and it'll be all right, and, and you tell them all that, and it goes up being the devil. Uh, 
Oh, help me for God. Hey, man, he said, I'm going to ask you. Listen to this. Listen to this. He simply said, you are to live in such a way that you're cause of hunger. Your children know God you serve. Amen. Yeah, hey, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Most families ain't living close enough to God for their children to get a hunger for the God they serve. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Y'all live close enough to God. Hey, you dads, your little boys, I don't know that your daddy, that their daddy lives close enough to God to pray when trouble comes. Then we hear their daddy pray out to God. Hey, hey, man. I hear old Tony Hudson say the other day at the funeral of the little Sammy Allen last week. He said that last uh, Friday was a week ago. He said that I called Brother uh, brother, uh, uh, brother Sammy and he said I would uh, ask Miss Jimmy where he was at and say he's back here praying and call back and call. And said I'd call back an hour later and say he's still back there praying. And said I'd call back an hour later and say he's still back there praying. <laughs> hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. You tell me what you can give your boy better. Thank God the Lord has got praying that. Amen. Amen. You must know, tell me what you can give your daughter greater than know your dad, your, your mother's mother has a praying mom. Amen. Amen. A mother, thank God, that get a hold of God and pray the trouble through. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. It'll make more in their life than anything you can give to this world. That's it. Amen. 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 Yeah. Somebody help me out there. Come on, preacher. Amen. Amen. Oh, uh, Dale Owens. You know, I remember Dale preached here. Dale's out past in the church out in Kentucky now. Dale said he had to pray with his grandmother and any woman he ever knew. That she was the bravest woman he ever knew. He said a fire broke out in the mountains and it got house after house after house after house. And said so the fire was headed right toward her house. And it was going to take her house. And they told her to leave. Said she got her a folding chair. Went out in the backyard and got her a gallon of water. And just sat down under the folding chair. And since she got to pray, and since she said, God, this fire and get in my house, amen. Since she sat there and prayed, God, until the fire went out and prayed, amen. You said, I'm leaving stuff like that. I can tell it from some of y'all. Y'all won't be a word of that. Amen. That's the we don't see things like that. Yeah, I see. Thank God, friend. Thank God. Still answers prayer. We said a while ago. Hallelujah to God. I'm glad they said God's still in heaven. I'm glad his ears still been alone. I'm glad Did you tell them we were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt? 
Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. The Lord showed signs and wonders of great sword upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. Brought us out from thence that he might bring us in and give us the land which is where our fault. Lord commanded us to do all these statutes. Fear the Lord our God for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is this day and shall be our righteousness. Therefore we keep all these stuff. They said, listen, look here. They will ask you in time to come, Daddy. Why do we have this Passover service? Yes. Why do we kill this lamb and cut his throat? Why do we do that, Daddy? Oh, it's a long and Yeah. We should have died, down there, son. God let that lamb die in our place. Amen. God let that blood take our sins. Amen. Amen. So now we'll be shouting about that. Amen. 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 That's how we do that. Right. Hey, why, why do we have this purification service? Why do we dedicate the first morning and kill a lamb to redeem the, 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 the donkey? Amen. He said, because there's a bomb down there. And God let us let the lamb die for us. First one. And he said, you're going to get over there and lamb Canaan. And that generation ain't going to know what you know. Right. You've got to keep telling the next generation. Yeah. What happened? Back on. Amen. He said, they're going to get down there and say, Daddy, why don't we rule their life by a book? Statutes. Judgments. It's written in this book. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do Why don't we do it, Daddy? Why don't we do that? My daddy, the little boys, they don't do that. And the little Amorite boys, you know. Moab, Moabite boys, and little Canaanite boys, they didn't do that, Daddy. Well, they married three and four or five times, and they got two and three women, and they committed adultery, they drank liquor, and they, they why, why do we have to do that, Daddy? Them, them, them little girls going around their dresses, all and that's exactly right, and I won't get mad at them. Them little girls going around their dresses, and not shooting wearing her pants. You're right, amen. Right. Yeah, the Bible yes, told don't, don't wear anything that split that uh, that's uh, in a in a pants type thing in the in the straddle of women's dress straddles to be open. Amen. We sewed up what we call pants, rich and slacks. Yeah. He said, uh, he said, you, you girls, you don't wear that. You women, you don't wear that. And they said, well, Daddy, why am I going to wear does that? They, they all wear that. Why don't we wear that? Come on, you're right. Yeah. No, so I'll tell you why. Because you're my people. I'll tell you how to dress. That's I'll tell you it. How to live. Yeah. I give you statutes and I give you yeah. judgments. I'll tell you how to walk, talk, live, dress, where you go, what you spend your money on. I'll tell you how to do that. Y'all know how quiet I got right there. Yeah, come on. You're right, preacher. Amen. 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 Why does this book, you know, you know, you may not like this, I don't really care much right now, I'll go out for five hours right now. But, uh, <laughs> you know, most folks don't break away for a life with that book no way. No, sir. Yeah. Uh, All the play goes by and they'll throw a dime in. Come on. Yeah. You're right. They dress the way they want to, go where they want to, spend the money they want to, talk the way they want to, act the way they want to, go where they want to, lay out the church when they want to, you know, do what they want to do. Go to what kind of church makes them feel good, it's just the kind of church the process to go to. And all that stuff, I'm having a good time Amen. on this, y'all. I'm just kind of talking out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. If you're John Dale thinking out loud. Amen. Why do we do this? Why do we do this, Daddy? Yeah. God said you should take children to the bottom. Amen. To the center. Come on to hell. But for the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. God. Claim us. Yeah. Amen. He took us from being the property of the world, but it's the property of the Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, get over there. Start get over Come on now. Get over there. I'll get a whole lot of if you want me to. Amen. If you put up on me, I'll put up on you. <laughs> Amen. God said, y'all look different, have different dress, different. And just all together, it's like what I saw. Not what you feel like. Not what you think. Like. That's right. Not what you feel like. Not like. what mommy says right or daddy says right. What God says right. Amen. Amen. That's good. And so when you and preacher ain't got no business telling us how to live. Preacher ain't trying to tell you how to live. I'm just trying to tell you just simply obey what the Bible says. Amen. That's Amen. all you have to do. These yeah. churches get together, they're writing bylaws after they got to be bylaws on the church as Congress has got. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. need bylaws. We got bylaws. That's it. Yeah. What better bylaw you get than the book God gives? Amen. 
man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Look up here at me. You ain't afraid for you, y'all not be a man. Amen. 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 I know you ain't gonna do it, but I'm gonna preach it till I'm till I'm so old and feeble that I can't hardly walk in. Preach on. I'm gonna stay in your flesh about it, and you're gonna have to answer the judgment seat. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. That's right. Well, he said in chapter 6, verse 2, he said uh, that thou mayest fear the Lord. Chapter 6, verse 13, that thou mayest fear the Lord. Chapter 6, verse 24, that thou might fear the Lord. Daddy, why do we fear God? Why are we supposed to fear God, Daddy? Because he's the bottom of the and God follows out. He said in verse 5 and 14, in essence, you're not to forsake God. Verse 2, 14, 17, 24, 25, he said you're not to follow other Lord, other gods. Amen. Amen. So God set ceremonial laws, civil laws, and moral laws for us to live by. And here's what he said. You are to teach these to your children. Amen. 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 Well, there's not only... The mind manifold aspect of this question, but I want you to know just a minute the mind cell associated with this question. The mind cell associated with it. Why? Why are we to do this? Well, number one, there is a reasonable probability of forgetting it all if we don't keep rehearsing it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right there too. Look what he said, if you will, in chapter four of Deuteronomy. Look at chapter four. Chapter four. Look at verse 1. Therefore, now therefore, hearken. That means give an end. Let me do this to you. I'm not going to get in a hurry just because I'm going to go. You go. This is that word hearken don't mean to hear. It means to hear with a desire to obey. Hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. For to do them, not just hear them, not be able to hear them wrong, that you may live. And go and possess the land which the Lord God your fathers giveth unto you. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, uh, and neither shall you diminish all from it. We'll come back. Let me just stop. I'm going to slow down. He said, You're not to add to it. You know, it's amazing how Baptist, independent Baptist, that's what I am, it's all this preaching land. It's amazing how Baptist gets mad because he eats other Bibles. They get mad because they, they talk about oh, we're King James Bible people. I don't think a man not now. He fights over the King James Bible that won't go to church. <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> well, he said you're not to add to it, you're not going to be any strong. Right. That word diminish, when you look at the word up in the Greek, it means to whittle at. It means literally to chip at or to heave at. He said you're not to chip at the word of God. I believe that part about Jesus dying for me, and that part about how I dress. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's squill that off. Yeah, that's good. Squill yeah. that up to the edge of things to shock when you see it. Yeah. God help us. Yeah, I, I believe Jesus paid it all. Thank God. Hallelujah. I believe that. But I ain't going to pay none of my tithes. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You're good. Amen. Amen. We aren't talking about our King James, our King James Bible. We're King James Bible people, and they're not even obeying the King James Bible. We say we believe in. Amen. 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 Look at verse 2. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish all from it. You may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which you command you. Your eyes have seen what I did, and so on and so on. You're to cleave to God, verse 4. You're to do what I say, verse 5. You're to keep yourselves in your wisdom and understanding of this, verse 6. Look at verse 9. Only take heed to thyself. Keep thy soul diligently. Why? Here is the reason he gave all this. Here's the reason he wants it remembered, rehearsed, and revisited. Lest thou forget yeah. the things which thine eyes have seen, lest they depart from thine heart all the days of thy life, but teach them. 
thy sons and thy sons' sons. He said, lest you forget. He said, if you don't tell your kids, you they forget. Yeah. And then before you know it, you've got a generation that don't even know it. Yeah. Right. Amen. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Look at verse 23. Take heed unto yourselves what? Lest ye forget. I've come back to this. Look at chapter 6. Look at verse 12. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. He said, lest you forget. Look at chapter 7, verse 18. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Chapter 7, verse 18. Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shalt well remember what the Lord thy did, God did unto Pharaoh and all Egypt. He says you can't forget. Look at chapter 8, verse 1. All the commandments which I command you this day shall be observed to do that you may live and multiply and possess the land which the Lord swear to your fathers, and thou shalt remember all the way. He said you've got to remember this. Look at verse 11. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God and not keeping his commandments and his statutes and judgments and, and so on. Verse 14. Then, chapter 8, verse 14. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord. Verse 18, but thou shalt remember the Lord. Verse 19, it shall be if thou do it all forget. Here, here listen, y'all get the message? Yeah. Here is the reason that God said you keep teaching this. Amen. I'm not praying. You have church time to preach that. Amen. Amen. God said you're to keep teaching this lest you forget. Right. Now, if you forget, <laughs> let me ask you a crazy question. Okay? It's so crazy you'll think I'm crazy. Well, I really am. I'm good. If you forget how to say your ABCs, and if you forget how to count to 100 and do math, you reckon there's any change of your kids ever on ABCs and how to count to 100 and do math? No, sir. They're not there. You reckon there's any, any change of your kids ever on that? But if you forget, if you forget the precepts of God, if you forget the judgments of God, if you forget the fear of the Lord, if you forget that first day of the week, and you forget about the blood sacrifice and the sin that God forgave and brought you out, and you forget it, be sure your children never know about it. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Now look back at chapter 4, maybe we're wrong. Chapter 6, I think it is. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. He said there is a reasonable probability of forgetting it. So he said, here's what you can do. Look at chapter 6, verse 1. Y'all enjoy this? I know you're Amen. Right. Yes, you. sir. Look at verse 1. Now these are the commandments. Chapter 6, verse 1, do wrong. These are the commandments, the statutes, and judgments which the Lord your God commanded you. They're not, they're not suggestions. Amen. God's book is not a book of spiritual suggestions. Amen. Right. Amen. They're not picking choose. Amen. Amen. Right. Yeah. Everybody liked them tests. We went to school in multiple choice. I mean, liked them multiple choice questions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could sometimes guess at them. Yeah. Right. I like taking an IQ test on my cell phone. I love taking that. I do. Some of them I don't know, but then once in a while, if I don't know, I guess I'll just kind of make a reasonable, educated guess and get it right. God didn't say, here's some suggestions. The pen suggestions. <laughs> hey, God said, here's your pen suggestions. Thou shalt not commit adultery. I suggest that. I suggest that you don't lie. God said, these are the commandments. Right. Amen. This is how you will live. Right. Hey. hey, verse 2. He said, Thou mayest, that thou mayest fear the Lord thy God. To keep all, not part of them. So you know, choose which ones you keep, keep them all. That's why the Bible says to break one. Broke them all. James 2 10 said this. Y'all with me now? Yeah. Hey, Amen. James 2 10 said to break one. If you offend in one, offend yeah. in all. Amen. They're not separate. They're not linked to the chain. Break one, the whole chain is broke. Look at that. 
you may keep all the statutes and commandments which I command thee. Uh, thou, thy son, thy son's son, all the days thy life, thou mayest prolong your days, you see. You'll increase and so on. Then he tells them what the commandments first. Verse 4. Hear, O Israel. Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, mind. And these words which I command thee this day, thou shalt be in thine heart. Here's what he said to do with them. Number one, you teach them. Teach them to who? Diligently. Amen. I can see we're going to be a while getting out of here today. I'm telling you, Brother Jerry, we're going to be a while getting out of here today. I can wait just as much y'all want to go get your beans as you left in your crock pot. <laughs> Bless him, God. I said, I put a rope stem, set it, and uh, it might burn today. God said, You teach them diligently. Amen. Diligently. Amen. Hey, that means you're to do it as, as, as you, you, you're, I mean, you're to give painstaking effort to teaching your children the things of God. Let me tell you something. Look at me. It's not my responsibility to teach your kids. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 That's right. Keith, that's your job, buddy. Fathers. Yeah. Fathers. Help us, God. Train up your children. Amen. Ephesians 6. Childers. Teach your children. Admonishing them. That's right. In the Lord. I thought about it a while ago. I want to ask you to turn to it. Solomon said this. He said, I was my father's only son. Yeah. And my mother's beloved. And they taught me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. David was a man after God's own heart. One of the reasons might be that he taught his children right. Read on. He said, if you teach them, number one, diligently, it's my responsibility to do that. The children. Under thy children. And shout, talk to them. Not only you teach them, you talk about them. When thou sittest in thy house, what do you talk about when you sit around the living room, bud? Amen. 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 I'm like it is. What do you talk about in your front? Your children. Amen. And I want the children to go up hate the preacher sometimes. Amen. They heard mom and dad sitting around talking about it. I'm preaching, thank God. Yes, sir, you are. Amen. Going home from church and they hear mom and dad sitting up there and saying, I'll tell you one thing. Well, Buster, he, I guess he's a pretty good fellow in the way. And I'll tell you, I just don't agree with all that stuff he says. I thank God for letting us live our life the way we want to. Yeah, you go ahead, buddy. You raise a junior that'll break your heart someday. Amen. Right. Yes, he said, no, he said, listen, he said, you talk about it when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down on your bed, when you get up in the morning, you talk about the commandments of God. Yes, you tell, listen, listen, I, amen. I, I'm telling you, I'm trying to hurry, but I can feel it's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. You're to tell your kids when you lay down at night. They had one big room. They didn't have four and five rooms in the house, three bedrooms, no one for mama and daddy, one for the young ones, and, and they didn't have that. They had one big room, and they all slept in the same big room. And when he got up in the morning, that daddy would say, My child, I'd say, What's one of them commandments? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, daddy. All my heart, soul, and mind. Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah what's, what's one of them commandments? Thou shalt not steal. And then Daddy went off to work, and he had a little box outside the door, and he had the Word of God in it. They'd always get them the Word of God, read that Word of God. They'd kiss their fingers as they left the house, and they would say, The Lord bless thee as they goeth out, as thou cometh in. They would quote that word of God. Then mama was cooking over the stove. Amen. And her little girl was stirring in the bean pot. And the mama would say, hey, hey, Susie, what's one of them commandments? God help us. Yeah. Amen. Then talk about it. Amen. Then they lay down with a night time and blow out the light. Lay there in the dark of the night. Daddy would say, hey, son. What's one of them things God said? They talk about it when they lay down. Now all the time, that little boy and girl get the spiritual education. Amen. Get quiet there. God help us. Amen. They didn't come in and flew fit on the YouTube or the 
taste that book. You don't talk to that book. You don't tell that book about your body. Number nine. He said, Thou shalt write them upon the post of thine house and on thy gates. You're to transcribe that book. Write it all over your house. Amen. Tell you, I tell you how the generation won't forget God. Yeah, yeah. Now look, look at Judges 6, Judges 2, just a minute. Look at Judges 2. You're the treasure, the teacher. Paul comes. Time, transcribing. Now look at Judges 2. He said, Lest you forget. Didn't we read that? If you don't do this, didn't he say this is what's going to happen to you? Yeah. You're going to forget God. That's what he said. Look at chapter 2 of Judges. This is the next generation after the generation I just read to you. Chapter 2, verse 2. And also, all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. That's a generation coming up under Moses, and Joshua finished them out. They also arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet his works. They children of Israel did evil beside the Lord and served Baal. They forsook the Lord. First thing they done is forsook him. God of their fathers, which brought them up out of the land of Egypt, followed other gods. Verse 13, they forsook the Lord. Luke chapter 3. They forsook him. They followed other gods. And then notice what happened to them. Chapter 3, verse 7. And the children of Israel did evil beside the Lord. And what they do? Yeah. They forget the Lord. The God served Baal and the ghost. Why did they forget God? Y'all still Why did they forget God? Why did that second generation forget God? I'll tell you why they forgot God. God said, if you don't teach them kids and talk to them kids and rehearse to them kids, and tell them kids why we do what we do. They'll forget God. Amen. And they'll serve other gods. And I'll tell you what happened. See, some of you, you come in here on Sunday morning, you think you got me fooled. I'm just going to preach you a minute this morning. You think you got me fooled. I am as crazy as this old dog now. <laughs> I may my hand on some of you, you just going through the motions. God is a bit more in your heart than man the moon. Amen. He's going through the motions. Bored to tears with it all. Yes, sir. If you get bored with it, write her down, buddy. You're going to reap it, that boy and girl. Yeah. Yes, Amen. 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 They're going to forsake God, forget God, cuss God. Cuss a preacher, probably cuss you too. I've watched people, I've been pastoring this church 30 years. I've watched people run in here and say, pray for my son, or pray for my daughter. About one step or three, four, five months, and expect that to change things around the house. Ain't gonna work it. No, sir. You ain't faithful, don't expect them to do nothing. That's it. Right. Yeah. They'll do just about what they see in you. Yeah. They will. God said to you, 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 you're going to have to give kids. You're going to have to live in such a way to create a hunger. Daddy, why do we do this? And you're telling me, you're the treasure in your heart. Teach it. Talk about it. Tie it. And transcribe it. And tell your children about it. Let's stay for you. Look at Psalm 78. Give me a few more minutes. Here we go. Psalm 78. Look at verse 1. Psalm 78. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline the ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known. Our fathers have told us. Our fathers have told us. We will not hide them. From their children. Showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. For he established a testimony. Verse 7, we'll come down there. Verse 6, that the generation to come might know thee. Even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. 
We drop it from our children, the next generation, all from that won't do anything. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. But keep his commandments. And might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation. A generation that did not set their heart alive, whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Verse 11. Look what it did. And forget his works. And what happened? It provoked God for seven days. Look at what happened in verse 22. Because they believed not and trusted not in, in God. They weren't taught, they forgot, and they couldn't believe God. Verse 22, all this they sinned still, believe not. Verse 35, they remembered that God was their rock when he called them on. Verse 42, they remembered not his words. I want to say one more passage of scripture. Look, if you will, please, in Psalms. Just one more time, just a minute. In Psalm 106. Stay with me just a minute. Y'all get the message? Amen. They failed God. They forgot God. They forsook God. Then they followed other gods. Notice what happens as a result of everything that happens. Notice the results of Psalm 106. Which is about Psalm 106. Verse 32. They angered him and his God also at the waters of strife. So that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. Verse 33. Because they provoked his spirit. So that he spake unadvisedly. And the, the, the subject of verse 33 is not God. The subject of verse 33 is Moses. Because they provoked his, Moses, his spirit. So that he, Moses, spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded. Notice what they did. In verse 35, they lingered with the heathen, but were mingled among the heathen. They mixed themselves. Y'all give me a few minutes here. They mixed themselves with the heathen. They got to go where the heathen went and doing the things the heathen done. Amen. They got to living like the heathen. Yeah. That's what happened in the church today. Most folk don't like it. I don't go across the road. I don't go across the road. If you're a preacher preach who had long hair, a tattoo, and a earring, yes. and listen to contemporary gospel music, I would go across the road. I don't care if it's your son, grandson, brother, sister. Amen. I, I would go across the road for them. And God right. don't want you going there. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. They're heathen. They, they, yes. they hung around heathens to the act like them. Amen. Right. Amen. Look at it. Look at it. They linger with the heathen. They mingle. And then notice what happened when they lingered with them. They learned the works. They lingered with the heathen. Then they learned the ways of the heathen. Don't you listen? Y'all gonna listen to me in a minute? Yeah. Throw your children or you among the heathen long enough, and you learn their ways. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. You, you'll be dressing like them. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Oh, throw you down there on the beach. You wouldn't dare wear your short shorts in here. Amen. <laughs> hey! Come on. You wouldn't dare wear them old stretch tight, stretch face, and holler pops in here. You're right. Come on. Put you around the heathen. Put you around the heathen. You'll go dressing like them because you feel like them. Yeah, that's it. I'll tell you one thing. If there's more heathen in you than there is holiness, it might be you're still a heathen. <laughs> it may be. Amen. 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 I bet there be some, I bet you if I could hide in the trunk of the car today, it'd be amazing what I'd hear. <laughs> Look what they did. They lingered with the heathen, verse 35. They learned the ways of the heathen, verse 35. And then notice what happened. For you know it, they're living like the heathen. They served the good idols. They lingered, learned, now they're living like the heathen. Which was a snare unto them. Now they're laden with the burdens of the heathen. They're snared unto them. Who are sort of said, Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto the devils, shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with their blood, thus were they defiled with their own works. They went a whoring with their own instruments. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, not the heathen. He got angry because of the actions of his people. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen
Let us uh, let us uh, uh, daughter's boyfriend move in and sleep on the couch. Uh -oh. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. He needs brain surgery. Amen. I like people who do it. Don't be, don't be surprised when things just don't turn out right when you let them start wrong. Amen. When old, when old Joseph saw Pharaoh's Potiphar's uh, harlot wife set her eyes on him, he began to make way to way. I watch my testimony, don't you? How I many of you know watch your testimony? The little boy down there, his brother, his brother. You remember when Keith Wolves was here last year? There's a funeral at this same church. The little boy drowned it. It's his family. The boy's name's Daniel. His dad's name's Daniel. The little boy drowned it. It's his little brother. He's six years old. The boy, sweetest little old fellow. Come to me after I preached on Wednesday night. Say, can I talk to you? I said, sure, son, let's talk. He said, no, we're going to the room right here. I said, no, we're going to the room. He said, no, it's going to the room. He said, my little brother died, and I'm having a hard time. I said, well, when you're in talk, we're going to leave the door open. You better, you better watch your testimony, buddy, and where I we live in. I'm going to tell you something. My testimony is more important to me than the keys to my house and my truck. Amen. Yeah. I ain't lingering with him. I ain't gonna, I, listen, I ain't going to linger around. I, you may have to work with me different than work with him to with him. That's right. You may have to work with him today, but you don't have to hunt and fish. My, my, my stepmother, my stepmother used to say, I'll be friendly to him, but I don't have to take a shot.